Well, last year when we started, we had really no expectations. We didn't know what we were getting into, and we learned a tremendous amount. The girls got a lot of experience, so I think the expectations are a lot different this year. Uh, I know the competition is different as far as on our team because we actually have 16 student athletes competing uh, to travel. To start the season, what we did was after some instruction, we had every person on the team play with every other person. So there's 16 people, so that means 15, they played 15 matches or games to 21. And we used that as criteria along with uh, personality and size to determine who would be partners. Uh, once we had our partners, then we had eight uh, teams and we put a, hadn't played a round robin among those teams to decide who was going to go to Texas. But what this uh, created was a lot of competition. Every coach would love to have um, practice simulate game conditions. Well, I think this was probably even a little bit worse because they were playing against their teammates, their friends, with a lot on the line, uh, which was difficult at first. But I think that as we progressed through it, they all realized, well, this is the fairest way to do it. it let this decide be decided on the court. Uh, so. I really feel like we are very, very strong this year. I think we're prepared to go to Texas. We're playing two D2 teams that uh, are pretty strong and, a, and another D3 team. Uh, so we're playing two matches each day. We're really looking forward to it. The kids kind of know. They've seen Division I last year. Like our number one pair, um, Kristen uh, Brooks and Samantha Perillo, played number ones last year. So they know what the competition is going to be like. Our twos, Lauren Weaver and Katie Leffridge, have, uh, Lauren played last year, Katie's a freshman. Uh, they're real close to uh, Samantha and Chrissy. So they may get a chance to uh, taste that number one, <laughs> that number one because it's very difficult uh, playing number one. And you talked about you know, a little bit of integrity being a core value. Our players are playing against each other for something you know, the stakes were high, but um, you know, I'll never for, I'll forget one of our players actually calling a net on themselves on game point and they would have won. Which just said volumes to everybody else. I mean, at first it was a little bit hard playing our teammates, but then uh, achieving the excellence and the integrity of um, competing in a sportsmanlike manner with your friends when something's on the line was a, a lesson that was learned. Uh, our girls play hard. It amazes me um, the plays they make and they don't give up. I mean, when they get down 20 to 14 in a game to 21, we saw somebody come back and win. I mean, because they just don't give up. And I think playing against the D2s and D1s last year and how they saw how hard those girls played and they understand how hard you have to play and how every point's important, we are extremely entertaining. Put that. April 22nd and 23rd dates on your calendar because it is really fun to watch uh, beach volleyball. It's very entertaining and the girls are super athletic and very, very positive.